Islands of Nine is a fast-paced first-person shooter, and with guns being the main focus of the game, it was important to make them feel powerful in the hands of the player. Today I'm going to break down how I created the AK-47 firing sounds and how I use Wise to integrate them into the game. The key to great sounding gunshots is to use fantastic source material. This is why I use professional recordings from some of the very best field recorders in the industry. Here you can see my project in Reaper. When designing a fully automatic gun, the first thing I need to learn is the rate of fire. This AK-47 has a rate of fire of 600 beats per minute, so I need to set that accordingly in my editor. In terms of source material, I managed to find some AK-47 recordings from Boom Library, which were a great starting point. Their library contains multiple recordings from different perspectives, which provided me with a lot of versatile material to work with. The first thing I do after importing recordings is to align the transients up with Reaper's grid. This helps to keep timing consistent, makes editing and rendering more simple, and helps with the playback and wise. I find it best to break gunshots down into four major categories. Mech, Punch, Noise and Tail. Mech stands for mechanics. Guns are moving pieces of machinery. Making those elements audible in your gunshots means the weapon will seem much more real to the player. The AK-47 has a relatively old design, so I needed to express that with the mech sounds. The AK needs to sound old and clanky, so I looked up some footage of one being shot in real life. And also compared it to how they sounded in other games. I used some extra mech sounds from an M60 machine gun, just to give it that little bit extra clank. The punch represents the kick in the chest that you feel when shooting a firearm. It's similar to that feeling you get when you hear a kick drum at a concert. This layer contains a lot of bass with a tight hard transient. As you can see below the punch there is a track named Sub. This is part of the punch, but I like to separate it for flexibility and wise. The noise layer is what makes the gun sound aggressive and loud. It is the body of the sound and contains a lot of early reflections which help express whether the gun is being fired in or outdoors. The tail layer is there to represent the player's environment. A forest will sound different to an open field, and a city will sound different to a mountainous area. So different samples must be created for each environment in the game. Here's an example of reflections in a forest. And here's one that might be heard in a mountainous area. To improve the sound of these individual layers, I use processing such as transient shapers, bass enhancement, filtering, EQ compression, and clipping. If you completely remove the noise layer, the weapon will sound as though it's being suppressed. And if you want, you can add some bullet whizzes or synthetic pew sounds to make it sound a bit more Hollywood. I feel that sound effects in general each need to tell a short story. Most of the time they require a beginning, a middle and an end in order to feel complete. A good example of this would be a bullet hitting a wooden box. You'd have the initial zip of a bullet, the hard impact of the box, and then some debris falling afterwards. So with that in mind, it's time to start rendering the individual samples so that they can be imported into Wise. This main section is the loopable part of the gun sound. This is the middle. I rendered each layer and each shot individually and used Wise to mix the layers back together. This allows me to mix the sound in real time. For example, the mech sound can be removed when the player is shooting from 50 meters away, or RTPCs can be used to increase the volume of the sub and mech for when a player aims down their sights. Some games like to use a single gunshot sound file with pitch randomization in engine for variation. This doesn't sound very authentic and is kind of robotic sounding. I like to use between 8 and 10 samples for the mech and noise layers with no pitch variation to create an authentic sound. Here you can see that I have put the rendered layers into random containers. This will randomise between every sample and create an extremely high variety of sounds per gunshot. This is how a single mech sample sounds. When using UE4 to call sound events per gunshot, it was extremely jittery and inconsistent in terms of timing. This was due to the frame rate or tick rate causing limitations. To fix this I created a random container at the top of the hierarchy. Its primary role is to loop the sounds beneath it. The trigger rate is set to 0.1 which is 600 beats per minute. This is how the mech sounds when played on a loop. 
I then asked the game to call a play loop event when the player started shooting, and a break event when the player stopped shooting. I then rendered out the end part of the gunshot sound and added it to the break event, as well as rendering a short mech sound at the beginning and putting that a couple of milliseconds before the start of the looping. The noise layer uses a switch container, which changes depending on whether a player is in or outdoors. There was one thing missing from this gun sound, so I took my collection of bullet casings to a quiet location and recorded them hitting the ground. This is the final product. I'd just like to give a huge shout out to Frank Bry and Boom Library for providing the world with awesome gun source material. If anyone has any questions, feel free to email me or leave a comment below. Later taters.